My dear friends, I see the weight of the battles you carry. I see the tears that have stained your cheeks and the scars that mark your journey. Life has dealt you a heavy blow, and you find yourself standing in the midst of a storm that seems unrelenting. You may be wrestling with grief, heartbreak, shattered dreams, or a sense of hopelessness that threatens to consume your very being. I want you to know that in this place of darkness, there is a God who not only sees your pain, but intimately understands the depths of your anguish. His heart breaks with yours, and today, I stand before you as a messenger of hope, reminding you that you are not alone. In the midst of your deepest struggles, there is a God who sees your pain and hears your cries, and He longs to bring you comfort, healing, and restoration. My dear friends, I stand before you today with a heavy heart, knowing that many of you carry the weight of hidden pain. It's a pain that lingers beneath the surface, hidden behind smiles and laughter. It's the pain of shattered dreams, broken relationships, and the silent battles fought within. It's the pain that no one else may fully comprehend, but it consumes your thoughts, your emotions, and your very being. I want to tell you today that your pain matters. I don't know if you've heard what I have said, but let me repeat it. Your pain matters. Your struggles are valid. Your heartache is real. It's easy for the world to overlook the battles you fight, to pass by without noticing the silent tears you shed. But in this moment, I want you to know that there is a God who sees every tear, who feels every ache, and who longs to bring you solace and healing. Before we delve deeper, let me share a powerful Bible story with you. It's a story of someone who, like many of us, felt as though God did not see their pain and hear their cries. In the book of Genesis, we encounter a woman named Hagar. She was an Egyptian slave, mistreated and oppressed by her mistress, Sarah. Hagar found herself in a desperate situation, feeling abandoned, alone, and utterly unseen by those around her. In her anguish, Hagar fled into the wilderness, carrying the weight of her pain and despair. She had reached her breaking point, believing that no one cared about her struggles. But it was in that desolate place that something remarkable happened. God, in His unfailing love and compassion, saw Hagar in her distress. He heard her cries even when it seemed like no one else did. In her darkest hour, an angel of the Lord appeared to Hagar and spoke words of comfort, assurance, and hope. Through this extraordinary encounter, Hagar discovered that God not only saw her pain but cared deeply for her. He promised to bless her and her unborn child, assuring her that he had heard her cries and would be with her every step of the way. This story reminds us that even in our most desperate moments, when we feel invisible and forgotten, God sees us. He hears our cries, knows the depths of our pain, and longs to bring us comfort and healing. Just as he met Hagar in her wilderness, he desires to meet us in our own desolate places. I don't know if you fully grasp the significance of this biblical account, but let me reiterate. God sees your pain, just as he saw Hagar. He hears your cries, just as he heard hers. You are not invisible or forgotten. The God of all compassion and love is attuned to your every need waiting to meet you in your wilderness and offer you solace and restoration. My cherished friend, you may be carrying the pain of loss, the deep ache of a loved one no longer by your side. The emptiness and longing you feel may be overwhelming, and it seems as if the world moves on while you remain trapped in the grip of grief. But let me assure you, my dear friend, that God sees your pain. He sees the nights you spend clutching onto memories, the longing in your heart to hear their voice once more. He sees the void left by their absence, and he offers you his comfort and peace. Some of you may be struggling with broken relationships, the wounds inflicted by betrayal or the loneliness that accompanies a fractured connection. You may have tried to mend what is broken, but it feels like an impossible task. Let me tell you, my dear friend, that God sees your pain. He sees the tears you shed over shattered trust and unfulfilled expectations. 
He sees the ache in your heart for reconciliation and restoration. He is a God of healing and redemption, and He longs to bring healing to your broken relationships. There are those among us who battle with internal struggles, the weight of anxiety, depression, or other mental health challenges that others may not see. You put on a brave face, but inside your heart is heavy with despair. Let me assure you, my dear friend, that God sees your pain. He sees the storm that rages within you, the battles fought in the depths of your mind. He sees the nights you lie awake, overwhelmed by darkness. He is a God of comfort and peace, and He longs to bring you freedom from the chains of mental anguish. I want you to take a moment and feel the weight of those burdens. Acknowledge the pain, the hurt, and the struggles you face. You are not alone in this. God sees your pain, and He longs to exchange your burdens for His peace, your sorrow for His joy, and your brokenness for His restoration. In the midst of our pain and struggles, we often yearn for someone to hear our cries, to truly understand the depths of our anguish. We long for a compassionate ear that will listen without judgment, that will offer solace and comfort in our times of need. My dear friend, let me tell you that you have a God who not only sees your pain, but hears your every cry. He is not a distant deity, indifferent to our struggles. He is a loving Father who leans in to listen, to understand, and to respond with His boundless love and mercy. I don't know if you've grasped the significance of this, but let me repeat it. God hears your cries. He hears the desperate whispers in the dark when you pour out your heart to Him. He hears the silent screams that echo through your soul. He hears the words you struggle to articulate, the groans that cannot be expressed in human language. He hears it all, my dear friend, and his ears are attuned to the cries of his beloved children. When we feel unseen and unheard by the world, it is in God's presence that we find solace and healing. It is in his loving embrace that our pain is understood, our cries are heard, and our hearts are mended. The God who sees our pain and hears our cries invites us to draw near to him to find refuge in His arms, and to experience the transformative power of His love. In the presence of God, we find a sanctuary where our pain is understood, where our cries are heard, and where our hearts are mended. He is the healer of our wounds, the restorer of our brokenness, and the source of unending comfort and hope. In His presence, we discover that our pain is not in vain, but rather a gateway to deeper intimacy with Him. When we bring our pain before God, we are not met with indifference or apathy. Instead, we encounter a God who empathizes with our struggles and extends His compassion towards us. The Bible tells us that Jesus Himself, the Son of God, experienced the depths of human suffering during His time on earth. He understands what it means to endure pain, rejection, and heartache. In the book of Isaiah, it is prophesied about Jesus saying he was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Isaiah 53, 3. Jesus willingly entered into our brokenness and suffered on our behalf so that he could offer us healing and redemption. When we bring our pain to God, we can find solace in knowing that Jesus, our high priest, intercedes for us. The book of Hebrews reassures us that we have a compassionate Savior who understands our weaknesses, as He Himself was tempted in every way, yet without sin. Hebrews 4, 15. He not only sees our pain and hears our cries, but He actively advocates for us before the Father. In our moments of despair, it is essential to remember that God's ways are higher than our ways, and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Isaiah 55, 9. While we may not always understand why we have to endure certain trials, we can trust that God has a purpose in our pain. He can use our brokenness to mold us into stronger, more compassionate individuals and to bring about His redemptive work in our lives. God invites us to cast our cares upon Him because He cares for us, 1 Peter 5, 7. When we surrender our pain to Him, we open ourselves up to receiving His comfort, peace, and healing. We can find rest in His presence, knowing that He is intimately acquainted with our grief and sorrow. However, finding healing does not always mean that our pain will be instantly eradicated 
or that our circumstances will change overnight. Sometimes God's healing comes through a process of walking through the pain and allowing Him to work in and through us. It requires patience, trust, and a willingness to surrender our pain to His loving care. As we journey through the healing process, we can also find support and encouragement in community. God often works through the love and care of others to bring comfort and restoration. It is important to surround ourselves with people who will listen, understand, and offer a shoulder to lean on during our times of pain. Dear friend, I want to encourage you today to hold on to the hope that God sees your pain and hears your cries. You are not alone in your struggles, and your pain is not in vain. Allow yourself to bring your burdens before God, knowing that He is ready to meet you in your wilderness, bring you comfort, and guide you towards healing and restoration. Trust that He has a plan and purpose for your life, even in the midst of your pain. May you experience the overwhelming love and presence of God as you journey through your healing process. As we conclude today's word, remember the story of Hagar and her encounter with God. Let her experience be a source of encouragement and hope for you. God sees your pain, He hears your cries, and He invites you into His comforting presence. In the midst of your struggles, may you find solace and healing in God's embrace. You are not alone, my dear friend. Open your heart to His love, pour out your pain before Him, and allow Him to bring you the comfort, healing, and restoration that only He can provide.